Oh man, what a main event. I knew that coming into this Extreme Rules 2015 honestly wasn't going to be the best show, but honestly, I had a ton of fun with everything that went down during this show, but the main event honestly really did stand up and deliver. Uh, we had Orton versus Seth Rollins in the Hell in the... I'm sorry, in the... Uh, we had Orton... <laughs> Slow down. Let me give me my composure. I apologize. We had Orton versus Seth Rollins inside of the steel cage with Kane as the outside gatekeeper, making sure that J&J &J security and etc. would not enter the cage. Surprise, surprise. Everyone entered in the damn cage. Uh, <laughs> we had... Um, J&J &J security trying to get in from the outside. Kane honestly wasn't on their side trying to scare them off. And they tried to climb the gates uh, to get into there. Randy Orton took Seth Rollins and threw um, him into the sides of the steel cage. Making J&J &J security fall off the top. But finally it got to a point when Kane knew that he was going to have to enter into the uh, steel cage itself. And that's when uh, Kane entered into the steel cage and uh, went after uh, Randy Orton. At this point it looked like he was... Uh, uh, all pro the authority, and he was going to be going out and helping Seth Rollins. As soon as Kane was done attacking Randy Orton, he turned his attack on to Seth Rollins, making sure that he was fair and biased, uh, making sure that everyone knew uh, that he wasn't for Rollins. He just was for the authority, uh, keeping the championship. So every time he did attack um, Seth Rollins, he made sure um, to, to let everyone see that... Um, um, you know, he, he was helping him because he is one of the most pro the guys that are. Highlights of this match include um, uh, the RKO being banned. Uh, so uh, Randy Orton took it upon himself to hit a pedigree from Triple H on to Seth Rollins in the middle of the steel cage tonight. That was probably one of the biggest surprises to come out of the whole thing. Then as Randy Orton made his way towards the, uh, the gate to try and enter out of the steel cage through the door, Kane shut the door, uh, making it where he wasn't able to get it. Seth Rollins came to a try at attack Randy Orton, who is messing with Kane on the outside, trying to get him to open the door. And at the last moment, was able to move out of the way as uh, Seth Rollins jumped uh, uh, to attack Randy. Randy was able to get out of the way, which bumped the cage, which made the door open and hit Kane, which uh, Kane got pissed. And that is the point when he came in and just started attacking everybody, um, taking everybody out. Highlights of this match was basically um, a tombstone by uh, Kane on Randy Orton, which led to a two count from Seth Rollins. Um, at that point, um, Kane came back into the ring to inflict more damage on to Randy Orton. At that point, Randy turned around and hit an RKO on to Kane, leaving him laying. And as he turned around to attack Rollins, Rollins hit Randy Orton with an RKO of his own, stealing everybody's finishers in this match. That led uh, to, to Seth Rollins uh, crawling his way out of the ring to... Um, uh, sneak out and, and still be the champion. And, and from here, it seems that they're definitely setting themselves up for some sort of a rematch. Um, you know, with the RKO is the main stipulation of being banned. The announcers are um, debating on the outside. Was it just banned for Randy Orton? Was it banned for the entire match? That is what leads you to watch. Monday Night Raw tomorrow night. It should be a good one with the authority. Uh, I'm guessing that they're going to rule in favor of Seth Rollins, but maybe there might be a clear and um, non-partisan uh, uh, um, thing that they can sort of say that uh, you know there has to be a rematch because there was no clear-cut uh, winner and the rules were not followed. Um, we'll have to go back and rewind the tape to say if that Randy Orton. Uh, was banned from using the RKO or if the RKO was banned. Everything that I read said RKO banned in this match. Not Randy Orton is banned from using the RKO. So we're going to have to see if it's the technicality or what comes down. But Seth Rollins escapes the cage as the champion. Moving on from here on out. Good show tonight, guys. Thumbs up, though, to be. Thank you very much. WWE Network knocked one out of the park again with Extreme Rules 2015.